Raw, finally out. Here we go. Okay, so I'm obsessed with emotions. Me too. I love that song. I'm in my feelings when I listen to it. I don't know why. Maybe that you know. I just I, I really really enjoy. You feel it. it. I feel. I, feel I like actually it's a this body girl of song. work. It is this body of work. I really like the samples, guys. I feel like it was used in a really good way. Yeah. Like you know, sometimes you're like, mm, I don't know. I feel like it's not, it's not there. This, I feel like it was Smooth. thought behind it. Who wanted to use the samples and why? I feel like collectively we wanted to use the samples because they was yeah. like they came in like that as beats, and then like the Juicy J record, which is one of my favorites, which is like fancy. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, I love this song because it's so smooth and sexy. Like I love a slow, sexy, not forced song right like, <laughs> so when i heard it i'm like yeah this is this one of the ones that i want on the album for sure how about for you miami um i would my favorite was work for it mm. i love that song you don't like work for it no it's so cute i'm just like having a moment i just what was going through your mind what made you like it just the beat just the snoop dog the, mm. It's classic. Like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just, I don't know, like, you know how, like, something gets you moving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then mm -hmm. I just love, like, the way JT flowed on it. Like, she just, like, sold the song. Like, the way she came in and she was flowing. Like, that, like that's my song because of, like, the way she flowing on the song. Oh, thank you. That is so sweet. <laughs> yeah, that... I love that song. That was one of my favorite verses because when I, that was one of my newer verses. Yeah, I was Verses, say... I ain't gonna lie. A lot of my verses are old on there, but I worked for it. It was one of my newer verses. Verses, And when I was done with that, I was like, I was having a hard time. Because it's like sometimes when Carisha turned a song in with her verse already on there, I don't want to copy her. And then it's like, <laughs> uh, damn, like, you know how somebody flow gets stuck in your head? Right, and yeah, then you yeah. like... Be trying to match their flow. You so be trying to, right. yeah, I be trying to match your vibe, but not your flow. Like, so we could just all bring something different to the song. Like, so I'm like, damn, she went so hard. Like, uh, uh just a <laughs> shit. I was like, damn, I kind of want to steal this flow. I'm jocking this, like, bounce. Like, I loved it. And I'm like, all right, let me just go another way. I'm going to rap fast because I feel like I'll never really like rap right. as fast. So that's why I went I so hard. I love that. Like, that song got me in the show. It was just like, I'm that bitch that can't stand me. me. <laughs> Say I'm good. Look, he lays me in bed. Cleave, like I, I love, love it. Song. I love that song. How many of these moments do you guys have when you're creating songs together? Was it any different than like the first albums you made, or did you feel the chemistry a little bit different this time around versus? You know, working with each other previous times. I'm not going to lie. Like, our first project, I still lived in Miami. So, we worked on an album together in the studio, like, mm -hmm. at the same time a lot. But I moved, kind of. So, I live, like, in L.A. Sometime I be here. So, it was, like, pretty different with, like, her turning it. But them songs, a lot of those songs I re recorded when I was still in the halfway house. Yeah, I was going to say, like, majority of the really? songs we yes. did together in Atlanta. A lot of those songs we did together in Atlanta. But I'm just saying, like, the newer ones, like, right. the last little couple of ones that was turned in, like, they was sent. To me, so I think for our next album, I'm gonna move to Miami for probably <laughs> right. for probably like a year what? and just I'm trying like to figure out what's that, that was work for it the song that we started in mm -mm. Atlanta. No, we didn't start work for it in Atlanta. I had got I heard work for it in Atlanta, but you wasn't there. I'm thinking about another song. Remember that studio when you had Beam at the studio and they kicked them out? <laughs> oh yeah. That's My dog. Song, that's the song I'm talking. That's the song I'm thinking yeah, about. Yeah, we got a. I your dog got kicked out. Yeah, because they said no be, dogs. In the they studio. was like no dogs in the studio, and I and I felt some type of way about that. So, yeah, you think about face down. Yeah, face okay. down, touch a knee, touch a toe. Yeah. Face down. <laughs> I, I know what song you're talking about. Yeah, she talked about that song when we was working with um, Jay White. Yeah. Jay White, the producer. We was in a um, camp with Jay White, the producer, and we had did the song called Face Down. Yeah, they kicked my dog out. Shout out to that studio. Leave the dog it. alone. Yeah. They didn't have to do that to the dog. Was it Big Dog? He Wait, was hold a on, baby before... at the time. He was such a puppy. Oh, and I don't think he was like potty trained. <gasps> oh. So he was like pissing everywhere, and it oh. was like, oh, no. The he dog's wasn't even go. pissing everywhere. I think that they did not want him to pee everywhere. My baby was not pissing everywhere. He, They didn't want him to pee everywhere. And then I'm such, I was such a dog mom. So Aww. it was like, oh, like this is crazy. She took that out everywhere. I was like, y'all tell me for real. You still have the dog? Yeah. But he, he, they live with my sis. I had one dog, mm -hmm. and then I came home from Coachella. My boyfriend had another dog there, and I'm like, but I don't even like this dog like that. <laughs> and it just got kind of hard for me to like mates. Because if it was just still Bean, he would probably be right here in the corner. But Aww. then I have two. So they live with my assistant because I'd be too busy. Yeah. you got, And it takes a lot of work. Yeah. 
I think dogs is kind of more work than kids. No, a bit. no, 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 no. No, my okay. I don't got kids. No. I ain't gonna fit y'all. Well, now that I'm a mom, I've joined the mom club. Okay. Miami. Oh, congratulations! Ooh, it's hard. I feel like Miami. This. You need to have a whole series of a podcast just about mom life. It mm-hmm. is really, really hard. Yeah, I need to know. I'm not ready to know. Nope. Take your time. You know what? I know I, that's like, and, I'm and being you know honest. You gotta take moms. your time. I always say this about moms. Y'all scare me when it comes to the baby talk because you know why? <laughs> Every time I talk to somebody with a baby, they be like, ooh, take your time. I'm like, I'm 60. They're because. a good friend. <laughs> They're a good friend to tell you that. No, she need to have her baby now. Oh, really? No. Carisha told yes. me yesterday. She was like, "Why? Wait, wait. Hold you need on. to have your baby. You need to have a baby now." And I'm like, "Why? Wait. What? Th- this is interesting. I don't know. I feel like people got different, you know, mm-hmm. views and experiences. But I personally like growing up with my kids. Like oh. I had my son when I was 19 or 20, and we. I feel like we grew, we grew up together. Like we growing together. Like he been with me through a lot. Like yeah. through a, a lot of my um, trials and tribulations. And like I feel like he appreciate life with me. Oh, like he really? Mm-hmm. And try is something else. Like my son <laughs> is so like mature, but I because I think he saw me like we went through life together. So yeah. it's kind of like he know like oh, that's yeah. what I experienced with my son. Like he's so quiet, and humble, grateful. Like he's a good kid. What's that saying about sons that when they find a wife, mom's out their life? There's like some kind of saying that basically when he's grown and he moves on and start, you know, lives his life. I'm going to be jealous. You're going to be old news. How you going how you, how you to, what are you going to do? No, I'm going to be, so, be supportive because I, I, you know why? Because I've been through that. I'm the girlfriend that the mama always like, yeah, because he with me. But <laughs> no, I, I get it. I understand. Because even like, though that's your baby, but you got to learn how to let your baby go like. His love is with someone else. I'm gonna support my child. Like Aww. I have to. Like I'm not gonna be no crazy mom, unless unless she we'll be talk trying about it, my baby. <laughs> I don't know, cause I think that sometimes, like if Carisha got a brother, and sometimes I text Carisha about her brother, like all his relationships, I be like, I don't know, I don't like her. I don't, yeah, that's like, too that's invested. I am, you're protected. I be invested. You're I be invested randomly too. I be like, uh, uh-uh, cause I want to watch out for the boys, cause I know how girls are, and I know how boys are, and I, I just always like, if I care about a boy, I don't. When a boy loves somebody, I hate to see them get their heart broke because there's so many men that don't show girls the love. So when mm-hmm. I see like a genuine boy doing something, I be like, hold on, Carisha, like. What about this one? How does it go? Like, I ain't gonna walk in. I'm gonna be the one who won't speak. Like, I'm the auntie that don't speak to you. Like, right, but just to no. go back on parents because <laughs> I, I know somebody that was like, oh, then they had a baby. They was like, I wish I had my baby younger. And I was like, why? I feel like sometimes when you get older, you kind of be like, not out of touch, but you just be like, you don't have that much that much patience. But some people do. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Depending That's on the person. Point. It yeah. really depends on like the person. I hope that, that I have patience. I feel like you will, because I feel like the older the, you get, the mature you get. Yeah, yes. I kind of, I kind of want to like. I, I don't know. I feel like if I would have had a baby younger, it would have made more sense. I feel like I just turned thirty or whatever, and mm-hmm. I feel like thirty is kind of your prime of knowing what you want. Yeah. Sometimes when when you younger, you don't know what you want, and then we get with something and we grow with it. Like you had right. your baby, you you grew with it, and I feel like at this age, you know, and you got the, the thing to make a decision like, uh, okay, I want to be a mom. What, what do you know at this point? Because I still think you... Better. A, better. Better. I know better. I be like, okay, I don't want to do nothing um, impulsive, especially things that I can't turn back the hands of time sure. on. But I'm, I'm not um, against it at right. all. Like, I will have a baby, but I just feel like... Right now, it's kind of like grind time. So when my baby get here, like, yeah, you know, it'd be like mama and daddy. Like, yeah, yeah like, I don't want to. That's, that's a good way to raise a family. I don't even daddy. want my mm-hmm. um the daddy to be flexing on me harder and then end up in a fave because they had to do something. <laughs> even though I think it's going to be like that anyways because I kind of think that, like, my boyfriend got a cooler spirit than me a little bit. I'd right. be like, uh, yeah. It's a balance. Yeah. It's, a, it's all about balance. And all that to say... I don't feel like, JT, you had a chance to really enjoy everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, even when I had a chance to meet Miami back in 20... Mm-hmm. Was it 2018? Mm-hmm. I'm not good at math. But, you know, I feel like you did miss out on so much. You were yeah. away, and really Miami was holding it down. Yes. She was doing all these runs by yeah. herself yes. and, and constantly just talking about you. And, you know, and, and I feel like that run, then COVID hit, right? Yeah. And I feel like you guys couldn't really 
enjoy all the success yeah. together, right? And then it's like now I feel like you're just getting into the swing of yeah. things. I, I feel like that too. And I be I be literally trying to explain that a little bit. I be like, for real, for real. Like I'm literally just getting into like yes. society a little bit. And then, mm-hmm. and then when I got out of COVID, when we got out of COVID, I feel like she kind of fucked up still. I right. feel like America is it's still it's yeah. still. Up. The world felt right different. now. The world still. It, it feels so different. I feel it's like heavy. it's mm-hmm. something left. We mm-hmm. went, a lot of stuff closed mm-hmm. down. Went out of mm-hmm. um, yes. went out of business. It's like a the lot of suffering. Mm-hmm. Suffering. Yeah, a lot people of are suffering. Yeah, people are suffering. I feel That's like the true. clubs change, and I feel like kind of with COVID, I feel like we mentally. I feel like we were so together in COVID. Like everybody right. had more time for each other, and then out of nowhere, it was like run. Right. Like get back to your life, and it was like we didn't have time to really heal from that. I Nobody. Agree. Like so, I got in my stage, and I was like, oh my god, I need to get in the house and like heal and take it slowly, going back in because it was like everybody together. I'm going. We going to Miami. I'm at Carisha house. Like I'm at parties. We having house parties. My birthday, I I will not remember. My 28th birthday was like one of my best birthdays because I rented a house and it felt so like everybody was there and everybody had time. And then Isn't as soon that beautiful? as beautiful, yeah, yeah. I, I was like. That really was my best birthday because we was just on our chill. Shit. We was right. in the house, but I feel like soon as COVID left, everybody had to get back on the hamster wheel, right? Yeah, back. Gotta go. And it's like Gotta we ain't on this. the phone Gotta as much no more. Like yeah. my my family, they probably was like getting the money, like the stimulus, and I'm able to lay back and make my money. But now I'm back at work and I'm back into right. my hustle and I'm back to my normal self. So I feel like that's why the world's so different. That's why I. And that and look, you could do whatever you want. That's why I was like, take your time. Mm-hmm. Only because, like, for me, I I waited in my career. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good, bad, and different. I don't really know. But I feel like so much is happening right now for the both of mm-hmm. you. And you guys can actually enjoy the success together yeah. and individually. Mm-hmm. You know, I want you to have this time and to run with it a little so bit. So can I you ask know? you a question? Yes. So before you had your baby. And after you had your baby, do you like your boyfriend more or less? Love. I'll t- let me tell you why. Why? I was just talking about this right now that there is no one else I could have had this experience with than with Colin. Aww. Because, woo! Wait, I thought he was right there. My bad. <laughs> she I was, I was like, oh, I'm telling you. It's just different. It changes everything. So the thing is that people don't talk about is that the honeymoon stage is there before. You're like, oh my gosh, we're going to raise a family. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 Like, it's great. Then it really hits the fan. Mm -hmm. And you really see if you vibe with this person. It just brings out things. It's like a gamble a little bit. It's a gamble. gamble. Nine times out of ten, it makes you hate that person. Of course, because you're, look, you're. I'm not going to blame everything on hormones, but you're there's a third person in now your relationship, mm-hmm. right? Yep. That's changed you. They're so dependent on you, right? And you kind of like have, the boyfriend, I mean, boy, the men are dependent on you too. And so you have that dynamic, right? Mm-hmm. And I've been pretty selfish in my life in mm-hmm. the sense of everything's been my career. What am I going to do? How am I going to get X, Y, Z? Mm-hmm. Now you have to give that up at some point, which is why I love hearing when you know, Miami, you talk about being a mom, you do it so effortlessly, mm-hmm. but I know it's so hard. That's the thing about hard things that look easy. It's just, you're really good at it. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? But when you have that kid, everything changes. Now your perspective on, do I really have to do this? Do I have time to do this? How's this going to impact my kid? Am I being a good mom? You start to think of things. I'm not saying that dads don't think of that. It's just different. I feel it. Like when I'm here now, I'm like, oh my gosh, my baby okay? Is everything all right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know Colin's not, but guilt. still, but you feel this. And that's why it's just know it changes it. Okay. And that's why I feel like when people talk about this, they don't want to be honest. Like it changes. It yeah. really changes. Now, I think that. now your other half, like now your man's like, hey, I want to go do this. And you're like, well, but you know what? You've been doing things for the past week. I haven't been able to do any work. Yeah. It gets. Those conversations come up. I understand. Let me put it like this. I understand why people break up after having a kid. I understand. And that's I my, get it. That's like one of my fears. You know what I'm trying to say? Absolutely. Like, it's mine like, too. That's like literally one of my fears. I'd be like, damn, like, this is my friend. Like, you know, at, before anything, this right. is my friend. I always be like, damn, if my boyfriend get a new girlfriend, I I, I want to know if she going to be cool with us being friends. Because it's like, that's my friend. Like, I want to know what life will be if I can't call him. Right. So... If we have a baby, Oof. like, 
You got to really oh, know. I, I, I feel like it depends on because like be you could be so in love. A baby can make you fall more in love, mm-hmm. or it can make right. you feel out of love. Mm-hmm. It just depends. It does. It does I depend. Be feeling like people love their baby daddy. People love their baby daddy. They want to fight over their baby daddies. <laughs> like they want to fight. I mean, like, but you know, it's beautiful. It's just all. It all depends what you want. You know, mm-hmm. when I'm hearing you talk about mom, dad, and. So you want this unit, mm-hmm. family. It's hard, yeah, because we live in a society that you gotta go work, this gotta work. It's a lot of moving parts in it, and you're now juggling motherhood, right? And like, I'm sure Miami has great advice about it, but it's not easy. It's just she does it so it's graceful Everly. with her. But like, unless you're a mom and in it, you'd be like, it's because she's good at it. Mm-hmm. So. That's why. So when I pre-baby, I was like, wow, that looks so great. She does it so... I, I'm i inspired to do it. Now that I've done it, I'm like, oh my God, it's so hard. It's, just, <laughs> it's a lot of effort. You know what I mean? So Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I, I feel like I'm just... like I'm, I'm appreciating this radio run. I'm appreciating yes. everything. Like I'm appreciating all of this that came with it, the good, the bad. And I just want to feel this and then... I don't know. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. We'll figure figure it out. I I know that there's always a lot of focus on the negativity. I get it. You know, people talking about, oh, album sales, this, this, and this, and you guys, you know, will respond. But I do want to talk about the positive. Yeah. For me, I was just reading, Katrina had brought it up, that you guys were named one of the 50 greatest rap groups of all time by Billboard. You know, like, it's important to remember these milestones in your guys' career. Mm -hmm. And I think that's great. Me too. <laughs> when you hear that, are you like, damn, thinking about how far you've come along, you know, where this journey originally started to now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it's crazy. I remember one of the things that I remember our, our career was we was getting like, probably like $2,000 a show when we first started, right? Like $1,000 a piece. And I remember when um, one of our managers, who used to be our manager, shout out to him. He was like, because when y'all be making $150,000 a show, you had to, I said, what the f- talking about <laughs> I was like what the f- are you talking about $150,000 a show now you're trying to gas like me and I swear we beyond that now right. but I was like dang you like you got to think about those things to get yes. to the next level and believe that you could get there because it was a time I didn't believe that we can get to where we at even though it don't seem as if like it's the most solidified place that we should be and right. I don't want to be here I, I want to see us go very very high but we definitely broke down a barrier that one thing that I would think about from back in the day is like, I'm like, oh, it's possible. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. The journey is just, I love to see the growth. I remember when I first met you, Miami, which I'm going to play a little part of the interview. It was fun. Mm-hmm. It was it was great. And I want you, JT, to see it because she was saying some great things about you. But anyways, I just love I don't know, the evolution, you know, yeah. and just you both supporting each other together as a group and individually Mm because i think there's always this pressure of is are they gonna break up it's like i you know why can't you guys do your own thing but maybe i'm just too optimistic do you feel like there's a different pressure on women to have to live up to um industry standards like that right like oh is the group breaking up versus oh you guys are doing solo stuff and working as a group do you feel like you guys get scrutinized differently than other people in general yeah, I think that is just so entertaining for them to put me and Carisha against each other. They've been doing it since, like, I could say since I got out. Um, oh, so you think they said it to break you guys up more so like that? Not even to break us up, only because, you know, drama is, like, we are, like, in the urban media. Like, we hip-hop. And I feel like Miss is, like, so intriguing to people. So they'll be like... Oh, they about to break up. Like, they about to break up. Ooh, they for the breakup. She don't like her. She looked at her like this. And some, we, <laughs> I be like, what the fuck is you talking about? And um, I feel like they will, they don't really want that. I don't think they really want that. I think they just seeing that. And I think they instigating that. Because when it happens, somebody going to be the bad guy. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Like, when, when it actually happens... Right. Which it won't happen. But I'm saying if it was to happen, somebody going to get the blame for it. Like, you left her or you left her. And it's just going to be like, y'all never going to be happy. It's, right, go- right. it's two sides of a story. You probably see that like, oh, I want to see them break up. But it's a lot of people that don't want to see Absolutely. us break up. You got to remember the people. The, it's some people that's been on this journey with us since the beginning of time Absolutely. who don't want to see us break up. And then it's some people that just joined the journey, journey and feel like, okay, y'all should break up. 
break up, break up. Instead of being like, okay, y'all do y'all things separately, and then y'all do yes. this together, and like y'all figure out a plan, y'all. and we still gonna support y'all. But it's like it what? gotta be a battle. I think everybody like to just it's just like a basketball game. What about people like me who are like you could do both, right? Like you could be in the group. It's some people that say and just. Do your own thing as well. Like yeah. I don't know why it's a this or that situation. It's a lot of people that feel like that too. I see them. I see people that I say that it. all the time. I don't get it because it's like, okay, we have other jobs to do. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like people work multiple jobs in general. If you just look at an average person in today, they probably have multiple jobs that wants to pay the bills or whatever. So I I don't know. I just I never was a fan of this. You guys have to stick together. You have to be with each other all the time. It's like uh we got, I always express this. <laughs> okay. We have different <laughs> needs in life and different yeah. things going on. We have different things. So I would never want to hinder her, like, stun her growth from what she got to do to feed her family. That right. is, like, selfish and stupid. It's yeah. just like, it's like, girl, what? Like... Are the conversations easy when, you know, JT, I know there's been talks about you wanting to do a solo album. Are those conversations hard between you two? Or is it just, hey, I'm going to do a solo album. What do you think? No, I feel like we talk about it, but yeah. we haven't, like, really, like, talked about it. Sure. Like, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, how? Because if I was to do that, I want it to make sense for both of us. So, of you get what I'm trying to say? I don't want it to seem like, oh, okay, this is me, 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 me. I want it to all circle back into the city girls. I want everything to make sense for us. And I feel like we don't never sit down and strategize and plan properly do the months and the 12 to 18. We never did that in our career. Like, a real sit down and be like, okay, now this month, we're going to do this. Right. And then this month, we got to have our deadline by this. And I feel like that's what a lot of other artists do. They be already having a cover arts right they vinyls the next two years planned out it be planned out and I, that's I, right. I feel like that's what we need to start doing so it won't be all over the place and we need to sit and have these conversations like hey okay you for to do this you for to do this but how does this make sense for the brand overall like that's right. how could we use this to come back into one cause yeah. if we keep doing it separate it's gonna seem like that's when people gonna be like uh, right. uh and it's gonna be hard to sell a brand and I don't ever want it to not be a city girl it's like right. that uh uh-uh. uh oh. like uh cause I'll be like hold on like, no, I don't ever want to not be a city girl. How about for you, Miami? Do you want to do a solo project? Yeah. At, at some I point? I feel like, why not? Like, you know, of I, course. <laughs> I feel like, why not? I'm an artist. Yeah. I rap too. So, like, yeah, of course. Yeah. I think that's a good point, though, what you brought up, JT, is planning it out so mm-hmm. that even when you do the solo releases, everyone wins. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Everyone can win. When Miami's winning and doing her thing, you also reap those benefits as well, right? Like, and when you're winning, same thing. And I think that that synergy is really important to hold on, especially in an industry that doesn't really protect that. You know, it's all about me, me, me. Very individualistic outlook. So I, I hope, I want you guys to continue this camaraderie. Just selfishly, I don't, I want to see everybody win. Maybe I'm, like, the 1% and, like, the positive, like, hey, no, everyone can win, but I believe it's possible. It so, and I don't know, maybe seeing Miami just hold you down all those years, it's a soft spot for me that I, you know, I'm rooting for you guys to do your thing. Thank you. Of course. At what point did you guys realize that you were impacting the culture? Was there some that you saw and you're like, wow, okay, we're popping out here? For me, is when I was in jail and they were sending my <laughs> It was when I was in jail and they were sending me the pictures of the little free JT shirts. And oh. it was like, I was like, oh, shit. And a little, um, I think Carisha took a picture. She had on like this green hoodie, this like lime green hoodie. And it was like pictures of me all in the back. Like free JT, I think you did it with um, um Heather. Heather. Heather at her shop. It was a she, pop-up shop. It was a oh. pop-up shop. And I was like, damn, it's like a whole movement. And then I started listening to the radio more. And then I would like hear her interviews. Yeah. And then I would like, I'm like, damn, we really popping. How about for you, Miami? When did you realize, oh, okay. Um, we, we're we shifting things. We're moving things out here. I don't know. Probably when I went on the first tour, baby, and I saw, like, people was really showing up for, like, yeah, city girls. So I was like, because we had some fans in the crowd. Like, you know, you go on tour and somebody has support. Yeah. And I was like, I think it was like when I went on tour and it was like people was like literally like free JT. Like I'd be like free JT. They knew the songs. I think that probably was the moment for me. I think Katrina, she was telling me, I remember the point when she's like, hey, they're playing Act Up. It was like on a news station. <laughs> it was, morning. it was in a, yeah, it was a morning broadcast. Or it was like on a newscast and they were playing Act Up. And I, I don't know. It's those moments I, 
I'm always curious if that also is an indicator that, oh, we're successful. We're moving out here. Mm -hmm. The news station is playing our song right now. Mm -hmm. So how, what was, if you remember, the first thing you did, whether it was a big paycheck or whatever, that you did to celebrate a very important time, you know, with your success? Do you remember what it was? Buying a house, buying a car, taking care of a family member, but a milestone that you're like, I can do this now. I couldn't do it before, but I'm really successful now, and here I am, I can do it. Having stability, like being stable, like literally like having a nice home, nice furniture. Yes. Like paying up my rent for six months. Like some shit like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. How about for you, JT? Same. I feel, I, I don't know. It's like, what was my, my point of success? I feel like when I first got out and I was like, I could buy anything. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of went crazy. And then I, um like now it's the same thing. Like, I don't need, a I have one, but I don't need an. And I think that is my reality check. Like, I'd be like, I really don't need it. Like, I don't. I could come and co I could do whatever. I think isn't that liberating when you yeah. don't need anyone, anything at all, and you're just like, I got it. Yeah. It's fine. It's I, on me. Yeah, when it's on me. Uh, it's on me when it it has to be. It's on me. Right. Like, and I don't I don't mind at all. I love that. So I think that was my reality check in a in a blessing. Too. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Because I think people get city girls confused. Like we boss. I feel like I the overall brand is like you know needing and depending on it. I feel like overall we're bosses. I mean, I just think that city girls just having fun, living life. And like if opportunities come up and if you want to pay my rent and if you want to pay my mortgage, <laughs> that is on you. I mean, I, I just I think it's it's like the thing. Can city girls be in love? I think it's possible. What yeah. do you guys think? You think it's like a this or that situation? You could be know, in people love. People just make their own city girls. Yeah. And it's <laughs> annoying because then they be like, you ain't no real city girl. We the one that created City Girls. How Hello. You gonna tell me I'm not a City Girl because I'm. You don't know what I'm doing in my relationship. Right. So shut <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's true. Like I, I be like, who the f told them them? That was the City Girls. They be like, oh, it's giving City Girls with somebody else. Oh, don't do that. I go crazy. <laughs> I be like, we would never look like that. Yeah. We never was like that. I swear to God, before the fame, we was some fly. Like Miami girls is fly. Like. We we gonna have on our little designer. We gonna have on our American apparel with a little bag. We gonna make sure. I swear to God, I was so proud of my first Prada glasses with the daisies and my first Gucci glasses. It was like my little pieces. Like I'm gonna make sure. You know, I got a little coin. Do you still have them? No. Nah. Oh, I wish you would have kept it. <laughs> no, I wish to. I wish I could have kept a lot of my stuff. I don't know where where is that for real. Like oh. I really don't know where is that in the world. But I feel like the city girl brand is like ghetto flap. Like superstars, you know how like a booster. You ain't never seen a booster. A hood superstar. You know, like, like a hood. That's in, the in the hood. The, the it girl in the hood. Like yeah. got and the it, accent, talk crazy, but be having that shit on and just like living yeah. life, living Doing what life. you want to do and when you want to do it. Mm -hmm. I think JT. I feel like I don't know. I feel like you're this. There's a certain maturity behind you right now because like one of your responses and what I noticed. Someone was talking about album sales and JT, you wrote, and I thought this was like, wow, she's so much better than me because I think <laughs> I'm more petty. You wrote, I, I, you said, I appreciate every single 6,000 of the people that purchased heart hand emoji. That was so positive. You know what? It wasn't or was even, it sarcastic? Because I think it wasn't it was sarcastic at yeah, all. Positive, it wasn't sarcastic yeah. at all. How I feel about the situation is you, you can't. What about the people that did buy? Absolutely. You're going to ignore the people that did buy to keep talking about the people who didn't buy or the mm. numbers and the sales? Because those, those people really give a shit about us. All 6,000 of them, they really care about us. No matter what the number amount is, those 6,000 people deserve their thank you. Like, thank you for real. Right. I appreciate that because it's like, it's not, a, to me, it's not embarrassing. Mm. It's just like a reality check to do better and come harder or like figure shit out. It's just like a reality check. It's not... It's not uh, embarrassing me. It's not the end of the right. world. You can you can lose and win. Like it's all a game. Like you mm -hmm. can lose and you can win and you can win and you can lose. Everybody ain't gonna win every day. But how do you have that? Like where did you learn that from? 
you know, thick skin, just you have a real positive outlook on it. I, you know, it's not easy. I'm losing a, I, and getting back up. It's not I easy. I used to be like very, very negative. I'm not going to lie. Like overall in my career, like feeling like really like, uh, like I can't do this or like I can't do this. But you know who I talk to a lot and who got some real thick skin and real encouraging words, Nikki. Mm. She do not play. Like she don't, she do not play. Like if she told me one time, she was like, venting too much about the same thing as complaining. Like, mm -hmm. get back in, in that studio, do this, like, do this and, like, do that. And that's where, like, one of the things come from, just having her to have in my back and just telling me certain things. It's a great outlook. Like, Because that's life. Like, not just... She, she'll say, every day you won't win, but you a loser when you don't try. Ooh. Like, you're going to sit right. there and fail because you lost. Like, you got to get up and you got to keep You got to shoot your shot. To yeah, even have a gotta, chance to win. You got to shoot your shot. And I feel like me and Carisha definitely can do it. I really feel like that. I don't care what nobody say. I don't give a fuck what nobody on the internet say. I feel like if we get out together and we scribe, we, gonna, we can kill a game. Because I feel like it's nobody like us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I was just listening to our album. I was like, nobody can talk their shit like us. I feel like we got to walk more into it, stand in it, be more confident in it, own it. Why like, did the album take so long to come out? Because I noticed earlier in the conversation, you said you recorded a lot of these verses before. I feel like this was already such a great, it's such a good body of work. It could have came out when you guys did record, I'm, I'm assuming, a bulk of the album, right? What? When was that? Like, I feel like a year ago, two years ago, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to really get into personal things, but I think it was like a lot of transitioning going oh, on behind the scene and stuff. And then like we'll say we like a song. I think it was one time we wanted to, we like Pinata so much. They didn't agree with Pinata. They is in the label. Or the something. label, gotcha. yeah. The label didn't agree with Pinata. Then it was just like kind of like uh, you know it was like yeah back and forth. I get a it. back and forth about like the singles. And then I really feel like. Every year we only put out like two songs a year, and like it just was slow. It was slow, and I feel like that's what it is. It but you was, have the music. We you guys have, have the, the music. We have the music, but they didn't feel like they were strong enough. Oh, got it. Got they it. They didn't feel like, at the time they didn't feel like they were strong enough. So it was like two thousand. I don't remember what year that was, but I feel like they didn't feel like Pinata was a strong single. I still feel like. Feel like if Pinata had the perfect video, and visuals a, play a big part. Yeah, of this. like the perfect video, the per perfect rollout, even probably a, like a Latin artist. Like it could have been like. It takes money to market, right? Like I don't think this doesn't just happen overnight. You know, it's marketing behind it. You yeah, gotta it's a spend lot money. Of, There's you, a lot. Yeah, like, it's you a have lot. to dish it's out money lot. for the marketing, the visuals, all this costs so money. If, they, if if somebody don't believe in something, they ain't gonna want to spend no money on it. Right, <laughs> so, that part. So that it's part. just a lot, but we we I, me and Carisha got to the point like, hey, we need to put this music out that's because right. we are artists and we got to have our music out in the streets. Yeah. So I think that's where it came from when it was like, okay, let yeah. our project come out, put our project out. So. Yeah, Miami, your response, you know, to people having something to say about the album sales, this is I think more my vein. Um, <laughs> that's good for a voice y'all hate and can't rap. Like I just your response to it. I love it. I love that you don't care. The noise just get aggravating. It's like y'all keep talking, so it's either shut up, stop talking to me, unfollow me, because clearly you don't like me. So it's like every time I post something, you're in my notification. So it's like, why did you buy the album? No, you don't like me. No, so why are you here? So I just be more of like shut the up. It just be pissing <laughs> me off. Like it's because it's like if you ain't one of the six thousand people, why are you talking to me? Why are you here? Why are you in my mentions? Why you like? Why do you care? Bye. Right. Suck my. <laughs> <laughs> like leave me the f alone. So I think I, it's eight thousand people. We are fine. Yeah, it, it was eight thousand. You know, <laughs> so I think it's a little bit more people. We give us give us the tonight. Give yeah, us all the Monday. people that's listening to this interview, please go. Yes, just go listen tonight. Like, I want to talk about the song tonight, and I want to talk about your guys's favorite song. I feel like all I'm talking about are my favorite songs on the album. But what are your guys's favorite songs on the album? I got a lie. I said mine already. Okay, One top three. Um, Miami, go. Top three. Favorite songs on the album? Emotions. Yeah. Show me the money. And I don't know why. I just like work for it. Got me in the show code. Mm. And I really do love Line Up, too. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so we'll give you four. Go ahead, JT. I like Line Up. I love No Bars, of course. And if I got to pick one more, I'm going to say Survive. Yeah. Oh. But but do not forget Fancy. 
I was, I was like, you didn't make I got so We were just oh talking God. about it early. Oh okay. I got so many. It's static. Static do something to me. Like, that is like some hardcore rapping. Okay, wait. Which song on the album were you thinking about a special somebody? And I ask that because when I when people go and stream this, I want them to be like, oh, this is what Miami was thinking about. This is what JT was thinking about. Give us that perspective of that song that you recorded. What were you feeling at that time? Show me the money. It's like a Miami song. It's like a song <laughs> that I wanted to feel like I was having fun. Like I just wanted to like say something funny. Like yeah. lose me, buy me back. Like show me the money. That's <laughs> like cool with the paper tag. Same yeah. color as a it's Berkey just like bag. one of those songs where I want to feel ratchet. Like if if it could just, like if a song on the album could describe me, it'd be show me the money. Have you ever said that? What lose to me, buy me back. All the time. <laughs> like, you know that. You know I what do. to do. When me, you you know what to do. You know how to pull up. You know what to do. Thanks. Of course. I love it. I'll I be think... back every time. I'm going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want people to take away from Raw? What do you want them to feel? <clears throat> me, personally, I just want people to feel good. I feel like music is about feeling good. Right. You know, like, when you're going through you put on some music, make you feel better. It's like therapy. So I just want people oh, yeah. to feel good, feel like they're a boss. Like, just feel good. Put yeah. on raw and feel good. Yeah. You know, you that girl, you that. I feel like you've been in a wave of, I just want to feel good. Life yeah, is I just good. Wanna, you know why? Because I learned that life is real and life is short. Mm. You could be here today and go tomorrow. So That's it's right. like, if I leave tomorrow, I want to know that I live my life and have fun. Like, you could get caught up in, like, a dark space. And oh, it's, yeah. it's so hard to get out of a dark space. Like, I was just in a dark space. And it was hard. Mm -hmm. And when I got out, I was like, I'm never going back there. I don't give a f Nobody take me back to that. Like, How did you get the strength, though? Because I think people can learn from that, you know? It's hard. Because I was just like, if I don't get out of this space, I'm going to die right here. And I got kids. And it's like, you got to, you got to, you got to, like, know that somebody is depending on you. Like, my yes. kids is depending on me. I don't even want my kids to ever see me like that. My mom, nobody. So, it was just like some life move on type of shit. Like, life move on. You got to get up and you got to go. Because if not, I just, I'm going to die here. Mm -hmm. so. That's hard. How about for you, JT? Like, what do you want people to take away from the album? Fun. Yeah. Enjoying themselves, feeling themselves. Yeah. Um, a good time. Yeah. You know why? Because I always think about, I always think about, like, a son that made me feel good. You never try to... Oh, like, yeah. Like, I, like I'm going to just say, like, Drake, you know how sticky it mm -hmm. gets. I remember where I was. With, like, that was, like, <laughs> one of the happiest moments in my life when that song came out. Mm. I was like, man, them, that's the era, like, Drake and Future, what a time to be oh, alive. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I want that. Like, when people, when Show Me The Money, I remember, like, we was... That's what I want people to take away from the music. Like, you can remember this time. It's like a memory for And you. then nostalgic moments behind it. You want people to feel good. Especially, it's hard right now. And people, I know it's people so hard want right to. Now. People want to, but it's just life is lifing and it's bills and it's this and, it, and it's hard. So the fact that you guys still have hope and joy and, like, energy, it's... It's refreshing. I'm yeah. gonna be honest, because it's it's hard in general. Yeah, it is. Do who's the first person that you let listen to the music? Like, where was there somebody like I need you to listen to Raw, and I want well, I don't care if you want their opinion, but is there someone that you just were like, my mom needed to hear it, or my whoever needed to hear it? Was there anyone that had to listen to Raw before everybody else did? No, I kept it. I ain't gonna lie. I was so ready for it to come out. Cause I, really. like, I don't like, I don't like negative feedback. Like even though I <laughs> right. know, you no, know, I like it. people got to get a honest opinion. It, it's just like I, it turned me off. Like I don't want to hear nothing negative. Like for real, for real. Yeah. No, I get it. I don't like that stuff like that. It's just like no. It it's me your away. work. It's your stuff. You don't want to hear anybody's opinion. You know, <laughs> you go piss me the. F off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to play a fun game of who's who, but we kind of did this before Miami. I don't know if you remember, I don't remember. and I want to see if you JT agree with the answers that Miami said in this. Okay, um, Katrina's gonna pull it around. It's fun. It's fun. Cute questions about how well do you guys know each other? Oh my god, I remember between that day. you and JT. Who would you say knows how to cook better? Me. <laughs> JT and not to make TV dinners. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you say is on their phone more? Both. Who would you say is funnier? JT. How do we feel, JT? Do you agree with Miami's answers? Um, no. no. I'm not a cook. I'm just saying, yeah. 
Okay. At the time she was a cookie. She be cooking now. She be no, cooking I now. I don't. I stop. I, I remember I was trying to get in this era of knowing how to cook. Was it COVID cook. time? No. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Was yeah. It, it was, everyone it was, was trying she to cook. She was making like baked beans, fried I chicken. Was trying, I was like, okay. I was with cooking with me is it just takes too long. It's, too, it's time consuming. It's time it consuming. Is. It's like you gotta wash the rice, then you gotta wash the beans, the chicken. I, 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 it's the, a lot. In the bottom of my feet be hurting when I'm cooking too. It be feel like I'm. <laughs> and standing. then you'll be hungry with the food day. I never eat the food when it's done. <laughs> so I'll be like, I'm doing all of this for somebody else to eat. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Who would you say is more romantic between the two of you? She is. You think so? Oh. Yeah. I don't. I'm not like. I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't wear my feelings on my sleeve. Like, I, I'm very, like... Would you, if you were... Okay, so let's say you meet the love of your life. Mm-hmm. Would you at that point, or do you think you would still be a little bit reserved? Now, I'm trying to do it now. I feel like I'm, I'm better now. Yeah. I feel like I'm way better now. Like, I feel like I done went from, like, one to probably, like, an eight. Okay. All I right. I am like a strong eight. It's just that I'm not that type of person. Yeah. I get it. It takes work. It's, yeah. It, yeah. But, but I like it, though. But you like it? Mm-hmm. I do. I like it. I like, like, like... Somebody being romantic to you. That's what we no, like. No, I like being romantic to somebody. Really? I'm not the romantic one. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But you don't fully open up when you're doing it. No, I am now. It's fine. Takes work. How, okay, so now, JT, what's the most romantic thing you've ever done? I'm so curious. She's so romantic. Oh, my. You think so? Yes. I like, she some some tips. She treat her men like babies. Like, I be like, Chatevia, like, for real. Like, Give us tips. How to get more romantic. I don't know if I'm a romantic. I, I try, I mean, I try to be nice, but <laughs> I'm such a vibe matcher. Yeah. Like, whatever the vibe is in, in the house that day, yeah. I think that's, Sag- that's the Sagittarius thing. And I be trying to work on that, too. I be like, sometime, girl, back down. Like, <laughs> I be so like, what you want? Right. You be- We beefing? Okay. Okay, got it. Thanks okay, for the memo. Okay, got it. Right. We beefing then. Or if we in love, all right, we in love today. So that's just how I be. I be trying to be romantic, though. I be. Yeah. I want to give romantic all the time, but... Yeah. Okay. Who's more forgetful between the two of you? I think I'm forgetful. I forget everything. Me. I, f- I don't remember anything. <laughs> I feel like it's me. I, I swear to God, I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> me neither. I don't remember. I feel like so much go on all the time. Who apologizes first? I think me. Really? JT, what do you think? You agree with that? I don't know. I don't think she apologized. I it's think we just that, be talking. I just, no, it's, I feel like I'm going to get over it first. Yeah, she it don't, over it. It okay. don't never be that serious to me. Like, I don't, it, it don't never be that deep to me. You be like, okay, girl. Like, we mm. could have an argument. I'm like, okay, girl. Yeah. Like, you want some pizza? Yeah, like that. That's like, her, like, that's her way of apologizing. Like, okay, you want, like, what you doing? I be like, okay, so you going to forget what just happened? Yeah. I'm and, you. Yeah. 100%. Like, I want to talk about what just happened. Like, <laughs> I'm you. I, I want to talk. I'm so aggravated. It just like, happened. No, no, no. Like, go I ahead. Wanna, let's talk about what just happened. So what happened <clears throat> and why, why, what, why did you do it? But I think that, I, I, I don't know why I'm like that. I always want to talk about something. Yeah. Like, I always want get to get in your brain and be like, okay. What happened? Well, why did you do that? What, what was you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> and it's just her like, um, right. you hungry? Right. And I'm like, no, I ain't hungry. What happened? Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a better singer between the two of you? Me. I can sing a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay. A little bit. A little a bit. A little bit. I definitely, I'm about to go to vocal lessons. I want to take vocal lessons so bad because I feel like when in music, you can harmonize a good song. You might get a hit. Right, right. Like and, if you, mm-hmm. or especially r and I'm not going to lie. R&B is so soulful. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. It, it allows you to have range mm-hmm. to just create different kinds yeah. of songs and what you want to do. Yeah. Okay, so I want to know you guys' opinion. There's a video on the internet going around where someone wore a wedding dress to someone else's wedding. Girl, why would you do that? What would you do if this happened at your wedding? I'm going to throw it out. Man, it would have got big because what the f- you went a wedding dress for? It's a prank. Like, I, I'm not gonna went left. Like, like do you wanna do you wanna marry you? Like, y'all finna put, um, do a joke on me? Like, is it a surprise? Don't play with me. Don't no, for real. Like, yeah, for real. Okay, don't. I'm getting them kicked out. Yeah, I'm going 100%. out. hundred percent. I mean, okay, you get kicked out, and I'm going crazy on you. Because <laughs> now I feel like you want my man. I don't know what's going on. Like that is crazy. Why oh. would you wear a wedding dress to my wedding? It's weird. Yeah, it's weird. weird as- yeah, it's it's a viral video. So we read something that if someone wears red to a wedding, that means they slept with the groom. Ooh. Someone shows up to your wedding and they're wearing red. 
Do you find that disrespectful? But what if you didn't know? Because I never heard of that. Okay, okay. So now that we know that, because I just found this out. Katrina and I just found this out. If you wear red to a wedding, yeah, I'm gonna look up some weddings. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna look. Now you're gonna look back at the pictures. Did they know? Did they know? Did they know? But what if you just like genuinely didn't know? Like, well, I, I think never... at that, if you didn't know, that's different. It's different than wearing a wedding dress to someone else's wedding. That's crazy. Yeah, that's delusional. <laughs> Delusional. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Miami, I just need a little mom talk with you a little bit. Mm-hmm. Are you guys dressing up for Halloween? Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Are you announcing it? Are you telling us yet? Or do we have to wait and see what you guys dress up as? Well, some she want to be Wednesday. So we was going to be the, Ad- the Adams family. Okay, so funny story. We were going to be Wednesday, but our costumes that we ordered on Amazon didn't come in time. So if I could give you any advice, order it early. Child, but see, that's the thing. I, I already got some Ho Wednesday costume from Party City. So now <laughs> I got to get involved. So now it get a little more right expensive. So I go to someone, I'm like, hey, can you? And then he like, babes, I just want a costume that's going to cost me like $2,000. I It's like, it's, it's it's I'm like, I don't know, Summer. You might have to just be Wednesday on your own because... <laughs> It's just like I just want to. I, I'm just waiting for a, for a few hours to go trick or treat, and why I gotta pay eight thousand dollars for a costume? That's too much. That's crazy. That's too much. Wow. That's annoying. And it's- yeah, it, absolutely. Because I'm about to just be a part. Um, we all about to all be party city. What would you say has been the hardest thing for you, being a mother and balancing your career? Time away from my kids. Yeah, I feel like you. You know, you can never get time back. That's right. So it's just like sometimes, right. like when I'm working and I miss certain moments, it's just be like, damn. Yeah. Like that should be fucking with me sometimes. Like I be like, I really miss my kids. Like I, I want to go home. Mm. Like I just want to be aggravated. Cause as soon as I get there, <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to be, I miss being aggravated. Like I be, I be missing my kids. I love this. Okay. So getting close to wrapping up, before we go, what would you say is the biggest misconception about yourself? that you wish people knew more of? We'll start with you, JT. They're going to say I'm lying anyway. If I t- <laughs> The biggest misconception. <laughs> They're going to say I'm lying anyway. I feel like um, I'm a good person. I'm so nice. Like mm-hmm. I'm like standoffish, but like if you're in my space, I'm very nice to people. Like I'm just, I just be watching out. Like I be watching the scene, peeping the scene, Falling back, figuring people out, looking at them. But yeah. a lot of people just, like, people that's friendly on instant and, like, friendly on impact. Sometimes I am if I'm, like, walking in the room. I ain't going to be lame and a loser. But a lot of times I just be like, mm-hmm. and they'll be like, that You're guarded, mean. but I feel like mm-hmm. you love hard, right? Yeah, so, like, if, so, if you're if you're with someone, if someone's in your circle. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, love I, hard. I, I, I love hard. I love hard. All up. Yeah. All up. How about for you, Miami. I think my body language, I think my body language is always off. I feel like people are too critical, too, but I get what you mean. It just seems like yeah. I'm always somewhere I don't want to be. Or I'm all, I, that's just me. I think that's literally just me. Like, <laughs> yeah. for real, for real, for real. Like, yeah. that's just me. Like, I just, I just be chilling, like, for real, for real, for real. And you really do. Like, that's why I think I don't think too deep about it when I see it because of the times I've seen you and met you. But people you always like say that probably. They like, oh, always you're so don't nice. understand me the first. They were like, she weird or like <laughs> I don't know about her. And it is like you see me a couple. You be like, oh, okay, that's just how she is. Yeah, everybody that know me knows that. They were yeah. like, the first time I met you, I ain't know about you. I'd and be you're like, so nice. Yeah, because I just be like, hey, and, <laughs> and it's like I'm getting on. Right. And it's just be like, I don't know, but. I got, I'm the same way. Like, I got to open up. That's I don't right. like people in my space because people be weird. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're wearing wedding dresses to other people's weddings. I, I mean, it's a yeah, perfect example. Well, I'm so thankful that you both made time today to come and have this conversation. JT is my first time really having a real conversation with you. you. Miami, it's always a pleasure to see oh, you. Thank you, And same. you guys can come up anytime, whether it's music, whether it's putting clothes out, whether you got, you know, I know you have your own stuff that you got going on. Whatever you guys want, just know... We're actually here, and we are always down to help. And plus, Katrina is such a fan, and we we enjoy what you guys are doing. Maybe because we're best friends, so we get the duo. We get this energy. But anytime you guys need anything, just come up. We'll have a better studio next time. Uh, Come up. It's comfortable in here. (laughs)